This week, the issue of illegal immigration again dominated the debate in Washington, D.C. It comes as no secret that we are currently experiencing the worst border crisis in American history. It's a crisis of President Biden's own making. In his first 100 days, he took 94 executive actions that opened the border and undermined the rule of law. What we've seen are the consequences. Nearly 10 million illegal aliens have entered our country. Now those 10 million include an unknown number of dangerous individuals, hundreds on the terrorist watch list, countless transnational cartel members, drug smugglers, human traffickers, and the list goes on. Perhaps the worst results we've seen over the past three and a half years are the tragedies. The innocent men and women taken from their families by illegal aliens who should have never been here in the first place. We've sadly felt the consequences in the deaths of nursing student Lakin Riley and Wake County Deputy Sheriff Ned Byrd. Something's got to be done. While Democrats engage in bad faith legislation maneuvers on the issue, I joined my fellow Republicans this week to push for bills that will help solve this crisis. One bill I proposed is called the Police Act. It simply states that an alien can be deported for assaulting a police officer, firefighter, or other first responder. I believe that if an illegal alien commits the crime of assaulting a police officer, he or she must be subject to immediate deportation. While Democrats block this common sense bill on the floor, I'm not giving up. I'm going to keep bringing this bill up until it's adopted. Now is the time to show that we support our police by making sure that dangerous illegal aliens aren't allowed to stay in our country. Thanks for watching.